Inside these two rather unassuming looking boxes is the power to take over the universe. Or it's two hard drives. I guess we'll have to open them to find out which it is. Ah look, it's two hard drives. I guess we'll have to save taking over the universe for another video. Ooh. Oh. Oh, these are beautiful. That is... Lovely. Wow, okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, these are 8TB Ironwolf Pros, and um, these are incredibly impressive drives, and I'm going to be upgrading my NAS with two of them. These are just very, very nice drives. They're very visually appealing. I'll do some, uh, some sexy B-roll for you in a sec, but, uh, yeah, very good looking. So these guys here are the Seagate Ironwolf Pros. Thank you to Overclockers and Seagate for making this happen, and I'm going to be using these two 8TB drives in my NAS to, to do a bit of an upgrade, obviously, with 4K videos, uh, three a week minimum. Uh, it tends to get a bit heavy on, on data usage, um, so this will be a very handy upgrade. Um, also, as I said, I'm using them in RAID 1 so that if either drive were to have any issues, which actually from my experience of Sega drives so far, obviously anecdotal evidence, but so far has been very good and very positive, um, is that obviously in RAID 1, if one has any issues, um, they can be sent off and, and recovered, but obviously you can drop in a new drive uh, either way and still recover all the data there anyway. Um, the other really cool thing is that these are the pros, which means they have free data recovery built in. There's some limitations to it, which you can check out, I think, on Seagate's website, but uh, obviously just to have this, the, the level of redundancy here with obviously the fact that you can A, you know, have RAID 1 here, but also if a driver to have any issues, as long as the platters don't actually, you know, shatter into a billion pieces, uh, you can most likely have your data recovered for free as part of paying a little bit extra for the drives up front. Kind of like a, a warranty or an insurance policy, I guess, but um, it's very cool to know that that is, that is there and that is available. So I think that's enough of me talking. Let's go install them in the NAS. So now the drives are installed, let's get to setting them up and then copying the just vast amounts of data that we've got hanging about here. So let's jump into it. I should also mention that the Ironwolf drives actually have their own health management statistics, which is awesome thanks to all of the extra sensors that they have on there on top of the recovery plan. So setting up the array on the, the NAS, which is a QNAP TS453 Mini, is pretty easy. It's just a couple of clicks. You can set it to be RAID 1, RAID 0, or JBOD if you want. And obviously if I wanted to use the other 8 terabyte drives, which aren't the same, which is not necessarily the best idea, then you can also add those in if you fancy. Now I've set it all up and I've also created a volume and then a folder and I've started my copy which uh, remarkably actually the uh, Ironwolf Pro drives are running about 220 to 240 megabytes per second which is faster than basically any hard drive I've had before and considering that that is a mechanical hard drive that is designed to work for I think 1.2 million hours mean time before failure uh, that's pretty impressive. As far as I'm aware, the, those drives have up to 256 meg of cache, which I believe the 8 terabit ones do have. Uh, and then otherwise, just as a, a note on the drives themselves, as I mentioned, you get two years of free data recovery, which is awesome. And you also get a five year warranty on the pros. You still get, I think, a three year warranty on the standard Iron Wolves, which are also great for more sort of home use if you like. The pros are a bit more sort of, um, I guess, for, for something like me, who's got some footage that they don't really want to lose. So that is a, an option available and the fact that it's all freeing or at least it comes included um, is also pretty awesome and they do also have a load of sensors on the drives which help them work with uh, the pros up to I think 24 bit enclosures which is kind of crazy and also pretty cool. Now I should mention since I've just done a bit of a spiel about the drives this video isn't sponsored by Seagate so they did provide the drives though so keep that in mind but um, if you are looking for Nash drives then the, the Seagate Iron Wolves are actually a pretty good shout uh, and obviously if you've got a slightly more business 
surface application or a bit more sort of mission critical data than the Armor Pros or the Exios, I believe is their enterprise type drives. Um, those are all you know nice choices for you if you fancy them. And just a quick mention on the, the other plans, the other eight terabyte drives that are in there, one of them is actually a Seagate Archive eight terabyte drive, which is pretty cool. It's a little bit on the slower side of things, but does a great job and has served me well so far. Um, I'm gonna be uh, swapping all of the, the data that's on that drive, which is currently my sort of main work folder, if you like, onto the Iron Wolf array. And then I'll use that drive in the other, uh, with, with uh, conjunction with the other eight terabyte drive that's in the NAS already uh, in a, another RAID 1 array for personal and a little bit of backup stuff. Um, and then the other NAS that I've got, the free NAS one with the two, again, Seagate Iron Wolf drives. Those are the four terabytes. They're currently are syncing my Tetsum GB folder so that I have a double backup, um, but that's gonna run out of space really soon. So I'm likely gonna be swapping that to more uh, home use and virtual machines and servers and stuff like that. Um, so if you'd like to see a video on that NAS as well, then do let me know in the comments down below. And also I would love to hear your thoughts on your own data backup. Are you generally someone who works more with like cloud backups and you just pay for a cloud service? Are you someone who has your own NAS set up, you know, uh, whether it's a custom built free NAS or something more standard like a QNAP or an ASUS Tor or something like that? I'd love to hear your setup because I know that a lot of people don't have anything and then it's a kind of like all or nothing kind of scale. So I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So if you want to pick up some Seagate Armour drives for yourself or anything else, take a look at the Overclock UK link in the description down below. You can also check out the rest of the links. There's Amazon and Overclock affiliate links which massively help me out they don't cost you anything when you're buying from those places especially if you're already buying from them but they do massively help me out so thank you to everyone who uses them there's also the patreon link if you want to support me directly and get cool rewards for doing so and thank you to all the patrons who already do support me if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this one or more standard tech reviews and take a look at the the subscription button as well as plenty of other videos over there for you too as I said, there's a load of other links in the description. You can check them out at your own leisure. But uh, if you have any questions, leave those in the comments down below. And otherwise, thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next video.